Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain underground water tank design using ACI code. So I am going to design with a capacity of 150 meter cube, where the soil weighs 16,000 newton per meter cube. The angle of repose is 30 degree when dry and 6 degree when wet. So these are three parts that I am going to design. Roof slab, the vertical walls and the base slab. So this is the ground level that I have shown and this is the underground water tank Okay, with a roof slab. So these are three parts. First we will start with the dimension. I have assumed height of water at 2.65 meter. You can assume more. I have taken this because uh, the other videos of water tank design I have started with all this so I have kept the height same okay plan dimension only I have changed with different water tanks whether it is circular or uh, rectangular the capacity keeping 150 meter cube constant and height constant the plan dimension have changed so that is why I have assumed uh, the height same you can just increase the height also so freeboard 150 mm so total height of the tank will be 2.65 plus 0.15, 2.68 meter. So our capacity is 150 meter cube. That means length into breadth into height should be 150. You can see this H is the small height. Okay. It does not include the free board. So I have provided such that the, uh, the volume should be 150, 11.35 into 5 into 2.8. Okay. So this is the capacity or the height of the water tanks wow. now you can see I try to make the width less or you can also design square tank but I tried it so that I can design the roof slab as one way slab otherwise uh, the slab size will be more thus because of more span the moment will come very high and uh, uh, unnecessarily you have to increase the depth or otherwise you can also have else you can what you can do is you can add beams also in between so that you can have two-way slabs smaller sizes of two-way slabs so instead of going to adding beams and designing for the same I have just uh, made one span lesser and another dimension more so first we'll start with designing of roof slab thickness I've assumed 150 mm if you see total load is Dead load plus live load. So 1.2 is the factor. 1.6 is for live load factor, which you can refer ACI 31811. Uh, live load in roof is 28 PSF, so which is uh, 0.96 in SI units. So we got dead load is 1.2 into dead load is 25 is the unit weight of concrete into thickness 0.15 plus 1.6 into 0.96. Okay. So 0.96 is equivalent of SI unit of 20 PSF. So total we got 6.036 km per meter square. So span 5 meter plus 0.25 because uh, if I'm assuming wall thickness 250 mm, center of the walls on both sides if I take. So 5.25 meter the span of the roof slab. Cover if I'm taking 40 mm, the effective depth is 110, 150 thickness minus the cover. Maximum bending moment per meter run will be WL square by 8 because I'm taking a simply supported. So weight W, L is a span. So I got 20.8 kilometer meter. So I'm using uh, concrete grade 25 newton per mm square, the characteristic strength. And for uh, steel, I'm taking 415 uh, MPM is newton per mm square. This two are I'm, I'm assuming. I'm taking the strength of a concrete and steel like this so while calculating the reinforcement the ultimate moment is equal to this is the formula phi a s into f y d minus lever arm this is the lever arm d minus a by 2 so 20.8 into 10 plus 6 is a moment into 0.9 so this is equal to 0.9 is our this phi value into a s into f i have taken 415 d is the Effective depth 110 minus AS 415 2 into 0 0.85 FC dash is our 25,000 because width is per meter run of roof slab I am designing the reinforcement. 
So if you refer 21.2.2 of ACI 31814, you will get this five values 0.9. So solving this, so I have got uh, a quadratic equation, and so area of steel. Solving this quadratic equation, I will get 531 mm square. So using 12 mm bar, so per meter and of so thousand into Pi by four, twelve square by five thirty one. So this is like the number of bars. So we'll get the spacing as two hundred mm. That means thousand by number of bars we can say. Because total area of steel is five thirty one, and this is area of one steel. So we can provide two L mm diameter, two hundred mm center to center as main steel. So minimum uh, ratio, if you see vertical steel to gross area. They have taken 0.003. If you see for slabs, it is actually very less. Uh, but we are because of cracks and all. Uh, this is water retaining structures. I have taken more steel 0.003 because this is what we are providing for vertical walls. In the next slides, you will see. And we have checked for crack width, so which is in limits. So this minimum ratio I am going to provide as distribution steel 0.003 into Our thickness B into D, B is thousand because per meter run into depth is hundred fifty four fifty mm square. So I am going to provide distribution steel as twelve mm diameter at two fifty mm center to center. So this is the detailing. This was the rib slab. Your main steel will go. So this is outer to outer length again because five meter and here two fifty mm wall thickness, two fifty mm wall thickness. So five point five meter. So this is our main steel and distribution steel. Then coming to design of vertical walls, we have two cases. The first case is when tank is full and surrounding soil is dry. So this is the water level. You can see this uh, is a vertical wall, and this is the earth, and this is the water level. Because the other wall is this side. So this tank is full and the soil is dry. Okay, for this case, so you will have the soil earth pressure from this direction and the water pressure from this direction. The net maximum pressure will be the difference between the two. So gamma W is rho G H. The rho is thousand for water into G nine point one into height two point eight meter. Minus C is one minus because the angle of repose is thirty degree. So one minus sine thirty degree by one plus sine thirty degree into sixteen thousand is unit weight of soil. It is given in the question into two point eight. So we got this as net maximum pressure. So if this is a vertical wall, this is the net because this gamma W H is greater. So this side is your net pressure is in this direction. So if I'm this is your base slab is there. So this is like will act like a cantilever. Then you have also roof slab here. So from their reaction, so it's like a propped cantilever now. So propped cantilever under this triangular load. So your bending moment diagram will be like this, where Here it is maximum W L square 33.5, and this is W L square by 15. So this is normal structure analysis when a propped cantilever is there and triangular load is there. Your bending moment diagram is this, where W is this net pressure. Okay. So I'm going to take the maximum bending moment, which is W L square by 15, at the uh, fixed end. So W we have calculated into L square 2.8 square by 15. Six five five one point four five newton meter. Okay, or six point five five kilo newton meter. So for this, if you refer ACI three one eight eleven nine point two five a, the load factor for lateral soil press is one point six. So our ultimate moment will be one point six into this bending moment. So we got ten point four eight kilo newton meter. So effective depth is two fifty. Cover is forty mm, so two hundred ten mm. So using the same formula to calculate the steel. So 10.48 into 6.9 into AS 415. So this is all same. So I'm going to get the quadratic equation and solving this, I got 134 mm square. So minimum steel is 0.003. So if I'm getting the minimum steel is 750 mm square, so I'm going to provide the minimum steel. So using 12 mm diameter spacing is 150 mm. So 12 diameter at the rate of 150 mm center to center, I have to provide for this case. 
Now second case is when tank is empty and surrounding soil is waterlogged. Okay, this is empty but this is waterlogged. The same, only earth pressure is there because there is no water. Okay, the tank is empty, only one side. So maximum pressure by weight earth at bottom wall is C gamma SH. So for weight earth, our angle of repose is 6 degree and a unit weight of soil is 16,000 into 2.8. So 6, uh, 36320 per meter square. Now this is the earth pressure. So you can deliver so this side the pressure your bending moment diagram will be just opposite. Okay. Same W square 33.5 W square 15. So W square 15 is greater. So for that I am going to calculate for maximum value. It is 18.98 kilometer meter. Ultimate moment into 1.6 30.368 kilometer meter. Effective depth we know 210 mm. So MU will be for this case the phi AS. So you can also say this as lever arm D minus A by 2 is into F by. So putting all those values, we are going to get this as quadratic equation and the area of steel is 395. Again, we have to provide minimum steel for case 2 also. So 12 di bar 150 m center center. So I'm going to check crack width. If you refer equation 3.7 in ACI 224 2R92 in SI unit, or you, uh, you can also refer the same equation but in SI unit is given in this because we are using SI unit. The equation is crack width is W is equal to 0.011 FS cube root of DCA to 10 to the minus 3 mm. Okay, this will be in mm. So DC is the cover which is 40 mm. We have taken S is the spacing. See we have provided uh, 12 mm diameter 150 mm center center. So S is the spacing. The A stands for 2 DCS, which is now 12,000. So number of bars will be 1,000 per meter and so 1,000 into 150 spacing. That means 7 bars are coming. So I'm going to calculate when we are calculating FS in this, this term is the moment by area of steel into the lever arm distance. So 18.98 into 6 is the, the maximum value I've taken. Okay, because for the both the cases 1 and 2 I've taken, I'm just taking for the maximum moment into area of steel is 7 uh, bars into pi by 4 in 12 square is the area of steel and the lever arm is 210 minus 7.73 so a by 2 means i am going to put the values here okay this a by 2 that means here where a is, is 7 into pi by 4 d square pi by 4 in 12 square into f by 4 15 into 2 into 0 0.85 25000 so this value comes as 7.73 okay so this is 7.73, I got 118.53. So calculating on the W, I got 0 0.1 mm. And if you refer table 4.1, ACI of this code, tolerable is for water rating stresses 0.1. So it is okay. But for safer side, you can also re redesign by just uh, providing extra, either you can provide extra uh, reinforcement. Okay, because I have provided minimum, you can just provide extra if you want to be more come into most safer okay to make it more safer because this is exact value so i didn't redesign i just kept it you can also resign but because this is exact okay so all over crack is 0.1 mm now vertical wall detailing will be so this is our main steel that we calculated okay and these are the dots are the distribution steel so this will uh, run through the base slab so it will be like this the other part will be same okay and this is our baseline okay so this is how the vertical walls on both the sides we are providing the same because uh, in the case one our load is in this direction in the case to the other direction so for both the uh, faces we are providing the steel okay so all are 12 because all are minimum steel so 12 mm at the rate 150 mm center to center now design of base slab so what are the loads that are coming in the base slab weight of the roof slab so 25 into 0 0.5 thickness of roof slab plus 5 meter is its interlink plus thickness of both sides or we can say directly 5.5 meter so 20.625 and the weight of two walls so uh, two walls two times of 0.25 is the thickness, height 2.6 meter and unit weight of concrete 25. Like here also 25 unit weight of concrete. So this 
33.5 kilo meter per meter. So total load is 54.125 kilo meter. If we are taking per meter run, okay. So let's assume that thickness of base layer is 250 mm, and the projection of base layer from wall is x meter. So this is like. So this is the walls that were there. We are going to design this base lab, and this projection from the wall is x meter. I have assumed. I am going to calculate first what is the projection. Okay. The weight of the base lab is 25 into 0.25 is the thickness into 5 meter plus 0.25 two times plus 2x here x and here x. Okay. So 34.375 plus 12.5x kilometer. Weight of the soil on projection. Because there will be soil here in this, so that weight is 2x is the length points. So into 16,000 is the unit weight into 2.68 the height. So we got 85760x newton. So uplift pressure is rho g h thousand into rho g h thousand density g is uh, gravity acceleration due to gravity and into height is 2.6 meter is the total height of the tank from the soil plus the thickness of the Base layer. So total uplift pressure is 28743.3. So this force will be this into the you can see the length 5 plus 5 plus 0.25 into 2 times plus 2x the whole length. So you got multiplying this you got this much Newton is the upward force. Okay, because this is per meter run. That's why. Now upward force is all downward force. So the whatever the self weight, the you can see. So this is the upward force equal to 54.125 was the dead load from roof slab and the vertical wall plus this is the from the projections. Okay, that we have calculated plus 85760. So this weight of the soil from the projection, if you see, and this weight of the base slab. Okay. So upward is equal to downward. Equating this, we got x is equal to 1.7 meter. So this is the projection. So our base lab size is 15.25 into 8.9 meter into 0.25 meter. Then water pressure on the base lab and self weight will be directly counteracted by ground pressure and will therefore not include in load calculation. Now steel reinforcement difficult. Total load is 54.125 kilonewton. Net upward direction total is by 8.9 meter because that is the length of the our base lab so 6 kN per meter the action will be this total load by 2 so if you see this is the base lab reaction uh, this is the 6 kN per meter is your udl so this is hole is 8.9 meter so 54.125 was the total load by the length was the udl and then the reaction is by 2 27 27 okay so i'm going to calculate the bending moment at the center here so 27 into the distance 5.25 is the distance by 2 okay force into distance minus this 6 udl udl into the whole length by again the cg distance so see total 8.9 meter because i'm going to take only at the center so from this side if i calculate 27 into this then the UDL till this value. So I got 11.47 kilometer per bending moment. So total bending moment for case 1. So that was 11.47. Is now we calculated 11.47. And from the case 1 we got 6.55 at the bottom of the vertical wall. So total is 18.02 kilometer per meter. For the case 2 18.98 was from the wall. And minus 11.47, so 7.51 kilonewton per meter. So I'm going to uh, calculate steel for the maximum bending moment using the same formula. Uh, you taking ultimate uh, factor 1.6 into this 18.02 into 10 to 6 to convert into newton per mm. Newton mm is equal to 0 0.9 into as into 415. Keeping all these values same. So getting this quadratic equation. So area of steel is 375 mm square. So we are going to provide again minimum steel 750 mm square. So we are going to provide 12 mm dia bar at 150 mm center to center as main and distribution steel. So our detailing will be like this. Okay, top and bottom main steel and these are distribution steel. Thank you for watching.